gathered here in God's presence and to witness and join and bless the joining of Dean and Sarah in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. With his presence, Christ attended a wedding feast in Cana of Galilee and his sacrificial love on the cross gives us the example for a love between a man and a woman, sacrificial love and caring for the other person. The scripture you have chosen is 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous, or boastful, or proud, or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable, and keeps no record of when it has been wronged. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. Love is always hopeful, and love endures through every circumstance. There are three things that will endure, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. There's one verse I'd like to read and make a comment, and then we'll go on to the vows. In the Old Testament, these words are recorded in Ecclesiastes. Two people can accomplish more than twice as much as one. A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided sword and a triple braided cord is not easily broken. I hold in my hand a rope that has your colors, purple and orange and the white. The white symbolizes Christ, and the colors, one you can be orange, one can be purple, whichever you want to be, <laughs> and they symbolize the two of you woven together in Christ's love and Christ's caring. 
For as you're woven together and caring for each other as Christ cares for you individually, then you're able to share and have a life together that's a blessing. And you had two paths up to this point. You still have our two separate individuals walking, two separate paths in some ways, but yet your lives are blended together and woven together with the love and caring of Christ as you share your love and caring for each other. Changing gauze, you want to hand your flowers off? Face each other and put your hands on top. However you want to do it. However you want to do it. Way. Is that okay? Are you ready? <laughs> I deign, I deign take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I deign take you, Sarah, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In love and to cherish. And health, and health, as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my sincere promise. This is my sincere promise. I, Sarah, take you, deign to be my husband. I, Sarah, take you, deign to be my husband. To have and to hold you from this day forward. To have and to hold you from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my sincere promise. This is my sincere promise. Okay. The rings. Okay. These rings are an outward and visible sign of the love that you have for each other, signifying unto all of us that you are united in marriage together. I'm going to take Sarah's ring and place it on her finger. Repeat after me. Sarah, I give you this ring. Sarah, I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Dane, I give you this ring. Dane, I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of God. In the name of God. The Father. The Father. And the Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And I put this over here to symbolize that together with Christ, you have now uh, made your promises to each other. You have declared your consent and promises before God and these people here today. May God confirm your covenant. Now, Dane and Sarah, as you have made these promises with the joining of hands and the giving and the receiving of the rings, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. Those whom God has now joined together, let none of us at the living Christ separate any of it from you. Your lives are bound together with Christ's love and the love that you have for each other. Amen. Let us have a prayer. God, we thank you for Sarah and for Dane, the way in which their lives have blended together through their families and through the love that they have found in each other. We pray, Lord, that you would place your hand upon their lives and as they are bound to each other, that they might be bound to Christ as their lives are interwoven and the rope of life that they have from this point on will be strong because they are woven together uh, with you and with each other. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would bless and lead and guide them in all that they do. Amen. <laughs> Just think, Betty and I celebrated our 55th wedding anniversary last week. And you know how old you'll be for your 55th? 85 years old, and you'll make it. God bless you and have a great marriage. And you may exchange your kiss, kiss your wife. She's no longer your bride, she's your wife. <laughs> we only allowed two, one minute on this now, come on. <laughs>